I think in people's thinking, God is dead. So people, I don't know if they've got an issue in their marriage or they're stressed at work, facing redundancy or their family situation's bad or whatever it is, people aren't thinking, I need to turn to God, I need to pray, I need help. Um, so God's not on their radar screen. I think when we say, is God dead? And obviously what we mean by that is, is that the perception of the people? Do the people look at it and think, okay, that's that's past, that's, he's gone, he doesn't exist anymore, or he never did exist? So the notion of God being dead in, in the UK, whilst um, the, the, the environment, whilst society does seem darker, there's greater opposition to the gospel than there's ever been. Um, you know, we recognize where sin abounds, grace much more abounds. I think there's a, a, some of the, the, maybe the cultural assumptions that might be moving toward God is dead. Um, some of those things are backfiring and people are, are beginning to ask questions, which is, it, there's a, that, that's a good, there's a, almost a plowing of the field that's happening right now. Perhaps it's a sense in which we need to, when we say let God die, of course we don't mean it in that literal sense, it could be quoted out of context here, but, but let the, the, the way we have presented God, perhaps as a harsh judge, um, perhaps as a, as a very distant figure, whatever it might be, that that, that narrow and, and unhelpful understanding of God perhaps is something that has to be allowed to die so that God can again speak in, in truth and in power.